Hi friends, once again welcome back to Prijilatak. This video is about TNEA 2020 that means admission process of Tamil Nadu Engineering 2020. I'll just show you all the application details, dates and how the application can be done online, how the payment can be made, what are the data we have to fill up online. Also I will show you how to check your application payment and status online. So let us start with you can see this is about Tamil Nadu Engineering Admission 2020 uh, overview has uh, been given here and the academic session is 2021 and if you scroll down a little bit you can see the course uh, details it's B B Tech course and total engineering college is 501 you can read through the details on the screen also you can see the application date which is very important 15th July to 16th August 2020 is the application date so online process mode of application is completely online so let us see how we can do it completely online so in the Google search of any of your device you can give TNEA online and when you give TNEA online you can see this is the URL you are going to click so this can be done on any device even mobile you can do this tneaonline.org just click on this link so once you click in the link you can see this we are into the government Tamil Nadu government engineering admission website and it clearly says use chrome browser in mobile devices for better experience so better to do these things with chrome browser in mobile also you can do it in computer or pc or ipad or laptop anything so scroll down you can see these are the things we are going to fill in there are 10 steps in this okay totally 10 steps are there so as you can see uh, overview of counseling uh, process is done first time you have to do a registration so you can click here for new registration so when you click for the new registration you can see uh, there are some details you have to fill in mainly your name as on 10th or HSC mark sheet that is very important so make sure you are uh, filling your name as on 10th or if it is HSC, uh, HSC mass it. Make sure otherwise later it can be a problem. Give your mobile number, fill in your email address. All these things are mandatory also uh, friends uh, please fill in your date of birth. If you click on the calendar icon here you can see first you click on the year button then you can change the year accordingly. Once you select the year say I select uh, 2020 as the year for example then uh, you can uh, even if you can go back okay there is uh, buttons for uh, right and left you can go back or uh, back or forward and select your years once the year is selected you are going to select the month month is also there you can see as you can see all the month is there uh, you can select the accordingly uh, whichever month you are falling into your uh, date of birth and after that you select the correct date once you select this you can see the date of birth will appear like this in this format after that uh, whether you have passed plus one or not uh, uh, you have to select yes or no if it is yes you have to uh, click here and see which is the qualifying exam you have given HSC, CBSC, ICSC or others if it is any other local uh, or any other university you can select others and mention your uh, board of exam and after that give your password confirm your password two times and click on the save button once you click on the save button it will ask you for uh, confirmation you give yes here uh, once that is done you can see here I got an email here on top you can see an email message I have come with OTP you might even get an SMS or email accordingly uh, just open your email you can see here your username will be there and OTP will be there just note down the OTP 183783 the OTP I got you can click on this link below uh, to confirm your OTP or you can give your OTP here and click on submit if this submit did not work properly you can go there and click the email and also verify okay in my case I have verified it after that give your username and password here first time I got like this I don't know why even I, if I gave the correct password then I went to my mail ID I click on the link which I received you might not face this issue but I was facing so that's why I am just giving you a heads up if you face something like this click on this link in the mail 
and then enter your OTP and click on submit button. That also will take you to the screen. Once that is done, you can enter your password you had set previously. This is the password you have set, not the OTP. And you click on there, you are in already. Your name will be automatically taken because you have already given the name. Fill in all your other parents' information, your address details, your current address, present address, permanent address and present address is same. You can tick this button so that both address will be taken automatically. Mention your... Uh, state and district state will be already taken as tamil nadu mention uh, district and your communication address pin code has to be here your native district has to be here your civic status of native whether you belong to corporation municipality town panchayat panchayat union or village panchayat so friends uh, select it accordingly and then you have to select your gender your mother tongue uh, your nationality uh, and all other details you are seeing on the screen also then you have to select your religion here if you select as Hindu you get other categories below uh, for example uh, you can see the other categories these are the categories under coming under Hindu uh, name of community also uh, suppose if I select Christian and I go uh, these are the other uh, community uh, name of community details I get if you select Muslim and then you get only BCM option here so these are the options please select according to your uh, religion category friends and after that name of the caste that is a button that also you can select and specify the caste there are a lot of castes given you can just sc uh, scroll through this and select your caste properly whichever category you are falling into okay and after that other number is there but it, it is optional if you have it is well and good if you give otherwise you can click on save and continue button once you click on save and continue you can see we have completed only the first step successfully there are still eight steps to go and we are into second step now so you have to complete all these steps one by one so in the second step as you can see it is the special reservation information okay so it says uh, rupees 100 for each special category so if you select special category accordingly the application fee might differ that's okay so you can go through this whether you uh, 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 fall under any of the category like ex serviceman differently abled person TF, tfc center so all these things you have to mention one by one so you can see here the second option i am just selecting a uh, special uh, reservation information this is what i was talking to you and uh, so uh, tfc center is also in, uh, in important otherwise if you click on save and continue you get an error like this so make sure you select the tfc center for certificate verification uh, through which uh, tfc center certification verification will be done so accordingly you can select your center you can see a lot of uh, uh, centers and universities are there select accordingly and click on save and continue button okay i just uh, comment out the information here personal so i am just click on save and continue after selecting the tfc center it will take you to my uh, next screen where uh, so i completed two steps successfully the third step is about scholarship information so uh, friends in the scholarship uh, information uh, you have to select your parent occupation so which category your parent fall into central government state government and any other professional if you are into some uh, uh, agriculture you can select agriculture and after that you have to select your parents annual income parents uh, annual income and kind of job we are uh, mentioning here and uh, is there any uh, tuition fee concession for you whether you have to know whether you fall into some concession category accordingly if first graduation concession is there you can select yes or no if you are availed already for first graduate tuition fee you can select yes or no and there is some AICT uh, scheme accordingly you can mention yes or no after that save and continue and there is other option also make sure your category so we have completed first three steps now we are into fourth step school of study information so here you are going to mention where did you study and your school details so if you have studied 
school uh, uh, from 8th onwards till 12th all the details has to be there now you can uh, civic status of school you can select first which category of school falls whether panchayat village level, uh, limit town or municipal corporation select it accordingly and if you scroll down if you have studied in uh, all the 8th to 12th uh, you have studied in same school there is an option also you can select it now uh, this is the year of passing column and name of school so we are going to fill all the data of 8th to 12th mainly the year of passing your uh, uh, other uh, informations of schools also i'll just show you how this can be done now here for example if you have studied to 8th to uh, 12th in same school just click this option just tick this option so that school name will be automatically taken for example i'll just show you uh, my name uh, my name of school is my school name i have uh, so if i have studied you can see here my school name i have uh, just entered and i have to select other district option for example if it is chennai and you can see here this is a, uh, suppose i have studied for, uh, if till 12th the same school just tick this option you can see here all the other details are copied automatically so that you don't need to type it multiple times from 8 to 12th so if is, uh, your school is the same it is easiest option just tick, tick this option it will uh, just copy the uh, 8 to 12th data as same school and if you scroll down you can see district also will be copied everything will be copied so you can just click uh, save and continue only here you have to take care make sure you have taken care here now fifth category we are into academic in information in the academic information you have to fill your hsc cbsc or icsc you have to select here and name of board of examination if you select cbsc automatically uh, or hsc automatically board of examination will be taken even for icsc but suppose you do not fall into any of these three you have to select others category and you have to mention the name and you can mention uh, if you click on the second tab you can see a lot of options are available this is uh, because if you are do not, do not fall under any of this predefined category you can select others and mention for otherwise if you select like cbsc automatically you don't need to you can't edit this information automatically it will be taken now uh, you give your hsc or equivalent examination register uh, register number you will have a roll number which will be carried even for your examination and identification give your register number and qualified year which you, year you have qualified and also select your group code for example physics chemistry or uh, maths or biology or optional you can select this and then uh, select your medium if you have studied in tamil please select tamil otherwise english or you can even select others and mention the language now friends uh, after that you are going to enter your marks obtained in the hsc you can see here each year each subject you have to mention physics what is the registration number usually registration number will be the same for example uh, if i enter the registration number and then which march uh, um, sorry which month and year you have to enter and what is the maximum mark for this subject this is the maximum mark not your mark for example you might be uh, out of 200 or out of 200 you select it properly if it is out of 100 you select 100 and enter the marks obtained by you for example 89 you mention 89 the same way you mention for all the subjects if you have an optional subject you can mention that also at the end and after that you have to just click save and continue to the next page so next page as you can see this is a personal information you don't need to do anything much about here because already you had filled your personal information and if you scroll down you can see automatically all your personal informations will be already taken so you don't need to do anything especially you can just continue to pay now we are into the payment button you click on pay continue to pay uh, and click on the warning continue it will show you uh, accordingly your uh, category and other steps your fee will be calculated accordingly it may not be the same but uh, according to the selections and filling you made the so seventh you are into seventh category where you are going to pay and eighth is the generating report now as you can see friends please read these things properly I just wanted to uh, stress on these things. Select one of the payment gateways to pay. Online you are going to pay, you can select. Do not pay more than once. Okay. 
so if you are suspicious about your payment just don't keep on paying please verify your payment status i will also show you at the end of the video how to verify this you can go to my profile and my transactions and see whether your uh, payment is success if it is success please don't pay again because once payment is made money will not be refunded it's correctly given very important point to remember there is no way you can return it you can refund it so the, in this case according to my selection i for example registration fee is shown as 500 so total is 500 and below you can see there are options like this you can select canara bank indian bank indian overseas or sbi state bank of india is one of my favorites so i would say for example i select sbi and click on pay so you can select accordingly whichever uh, even if inside you got a neft and other options so don't worry about uh, this option here you can select your convenient usually whichever bank and click on pay button it will take you to the other options where you can see your order summary will be there you are paying to uh, so and so and your order uh, number will be there and you can click on the debit card option here and you get three options to pay see i had selected sbi but still you can see here this is the option debit card credit card will be there default just click click there you get three two more options internet banking and upi id so you have a lot of uh, options to make for example if i select on uh, internet banking then again popular banks will come if you click on all the banks you can select a lot of banks or directly you can click on sbi and click on pay now button so it will take you to your website if it is sbi it will be like this if it is another website it will be taking to your page now once payment is made or uh, say something went bad or wrong or maybe it is success how you can verify uh, how to check the status is what i am showing you in the next part uh, suppose your payment is done whether it is success or not how can you do this just uh, start again the same procedure open a google uh, search page and in that you can uh, search for uh, your uh, tnea online and tnea home click on the first link we have shown this already this time you don't need to register just click on the login button here because we have already credentials click on login enter your email address and the password you had already set and click on login button here friends so you will be into the portal and once you are into you can see here there is a right side top if it is in mobile you can view like this if it's in pc you might have direct another option click here and click on my profile so this is the page which will show you your application status and other payment options click on my transactions if you click on my transaction you can see here transaction id is there category is registration your date time will be there you can even refresh here this is the refresh button if payment before uh, taking a decision you can just refresh if payments is getting updated and what you can do is just click on the transaction id number you can see here just click on this click here it will show you the payment details so before trying to make another payment friends uh, i would say you because the money will not be refund, refunded so if payment status says success then payment is success otherwise you can take so thank you very much for watching uh, i wish you all the best uh, hope you will uh, go through everything uh, please subscribe to our channel also if you like the video give us a like thank you very much friends see you with another video